When you start Sinagara for the first time, you should see four windows. The program window, the viewer window, the compositor window, and the resources window. Now we should set some parameters for our project. File, new, user defined, frame rate, let it be 15, canvas size, aspect ratio, OK. As soon as we set necessary parameters, we can load files in our project. File, load files, looking for the folder that was specially created for this project. Insertion strategy, append in your tracks. OK. Uh, as you see, we have uh, unnecessary tracks. We can delete them. Just right click, delete track. Let's add another image in the same way. The same insertion strategy. OK. Uh, so, we can see our images in the resources window. Just right-click on one of its icons, information. Uh, so, as you see, the files I loaded are of the same size and aspect ratio as our project. This is a very important condition. The project's size should correspond to the size of your prepared material. Uh, so, in drag and drop mode, let's select it, uh, we can rearrange uh, the images by means of the middle button. Uh, and we can drag our red image with the middle button. It is necessary to keep in, um, it is necessary to keep in mind that you cannot make any changes at all to a track that is not armed. As you see, we have the arm track buttons activated. Now we can press the normal forward button in order to see the results. Too fast. We can tweak the exact length of a particular image by dragging the handles between the edits. You can use either the middle button or the left one while dragging. The best way to learn how, uh, how this works is to experiment. Now I use the left mouse button. The zoom control will come in very handy. Here it is. Now I can add transitions between our images, video transitions. As you see, Sinagara has its own transitions. I will describe you the work of the shape wipe transition. Just right click show looking for the transition we want to work with. Bird, OK. Uh, direction from black to white. Uh, as you have already guessed, transitions work with gradients. Uh, also, we can tweak lens if necessary, let it be 3, and see the results in the compositor window. OK, now I'm going to show you how cut and paste mode works. Let's choose it. Uh, in cut and paste mode, you can select sections and perform the usual cut, copy and paste operations. Now I'm selecting the area I want to copy. Edit, copy, go to the last frame, edit, paste. Uh, now I can delete the unnecessary transition. 
right click, detach and uh, add another one. Show, rows, let it be the end. OK. Now we can see the results in the compositor window. Let's make a render now. File, render, looking for the folder. Format. Render video tracks, compression, and uh, insertion strategy, insert nothing. OK. Now we can see the render process. The render process is completed and you can check your folder to see the results. Happy renders!